what's going on guys uh so this is actually a pretty late video i had promised this video to a couple people on like some comments of uh of other videos um because i was actually searching for basically some sound clips some sound clips of uh the 2uzfe on the fourth gen forerunner so much so that I ended up looking for clips on the Tundra and the Sequoia because there really wasn't very many for the for the Forerunner. So as you can see right now, I'm just driving. Uh, I just got off work. My whole car is messy, but um, this is just to kind of show you like a couple driving clips of basically how it sounds to just daily drive with the exhaust. Uh, by the exhaust, I really mean just the muffler delete. I'm gonna let you guys listen a little bit while the window is down. Okay, I have both windows down in the front and uh, at this next light here, I'm just gonna kinda It's gonna kind of speed off a little bit. To be really honest with you, you can hear it, but it's not gonna be that loud. And here I go. So I just put the windows up. Um, that was up to 60. And I didn't really like fully floor it, but I somewhat accidentally did. So um, that's pretty much like about the loudest it'll get. And that's with the two front windows down. So the way you could actually hear it a little bit louder inside the cabin here is actually if you lower the back window um, at least like halfway to fully and I like actually driving like that sometimes just because it sounds really good in here but when you're idling like right now I excuse all like my lights and stuff I gotta check engine light for like the EVAP system or something that I haven't fixed yet um, it's idling at about like 800 or so rpm um and i'm at a stop just at on drive at a traffic light so in this like type of situation you're not really going to hear it too much it's definitely there's definitely like a slight little buzz that you could hear obviously in the back but That one was 250. Um, I just got quiet just so you guys could hear it because I, I went. Um, and that was, that was with the windows up. So again, you could hear it in here. It's kind of like a little buzz, a little hum almost. It's definitely not like droney. It sounds good to me. It's a little bit almost on the quiet side for me. I kind of want it to be a little bit louder. Uh, so I'd have to remove uh, probably the cats or the resonator or both uh, which I might do the cats later on but for now it, it's perfectly fine you could definitely hear it like outside like if you're in a different car next to me you could hear it better but um it's okay like this because the main reason I really wanted to do it and the main reason I'm making this video anyway uh, is one because I told some people I would and so this is just that that promise basically and because I just wanted to make another vi video available because before I did it I knew I wanted an exhaust or a muffler delete or something like that but I didn't want it to be too crazy loud because um, 
I was gonna go back to school at that point and we park in like parking garages and you know those are like a tunnel so they can be really loud if you're because I like to get to, to school basically early park for like 30 minutes sometimes an hour and you know pick something up on the way and then just eat in my car with the AC on just idling because it, I live in Florida so anywhere else maybe you just put the window down a little bit and you'll be fine but over here it's you need some AC while you're just sitting there so anyway I had that question I was like what if it's like at idle my main concern was at idle the rest of it it could be as loud as it wants but at idle in a parking garage I didn't want it to be like really loud and annoying to other people that are just there or just to myself I wanted it to kind of be kind of just barely noticeable that the car is on if I'm just kind of sitting somewhere um and honestly it is like it's perfect like right now the AC is I have the AC on but the compressor is off right now so you can see it's like and it just kicked on so now it's going to like you know 750 800 but it was idling at like probably 700 maybe 650 so it idles pretty low you can barely hear it but you can definitely hear the slight rpm rise um when it kicks on so anyway i don't want to make this video too long i just want to give you some details that's what it sounds like just driving here I'll just give you a couple like little clips here just driving and in just a second I'm gonna lower the back window a little bit and that way you'll hear basically the loudest it gets is if you lower the back window slow down a lot here I'm just gonna lower the back window a little bit lower to halfway so here you could hear now you guys at least one full like first gear to fifth gear pull and by pull I don't I don't really mean like floor in it but you know so you could hear the whole uh, all the gears basically and then maybe I'll aim the camera just like once towards the back because the mic that's picking this up is probably the one in the back so you're kind of hearing like the front of the phone right now because I'm just recording with my phone, but uh, I'll show you if you're maybe in the back how it sounds. Yeah, this traffic's just really slow here. So I can't like like literally can't get past them right now. So I'll speed off here a little bit. It's probably gonna be like third to fifth or fourth to fifth, I don't know. Probably third. So 
So that's that. And then I'll just show you one more uh, facing the phone backwards. And that'll be as soon as I get to this next light so you can hear it a little, a little better from the low end. <clears throat> but while I wait on that, um, I guess just to, to keep any explanation simple, I do recommend this setup. This is basically about the perfect setup for me. Um, if you're thinking about getting an exhaust for your V8 4Runner, for your uh, 4.7 Tundra or Sequoia, I definitely recommend just a simple muffler delete. You could definitely pay, you know, all that extra money for a nice Magnaflow or whatever, Flowmaster. And it'll sound great, but I mean, it's a V8, so it's really hard to make it sound bad. And a muffler delete definitely doesn't make it sound bad. It makes it sound like you have an actual like full cat back exhaust, which is great. So I do recommend it. It's not too loud. Like I said, if anything, I prefer it a little bit louder, but it's just okay for what I use it for because it's just an automatic SUV. If, uh, if it was like, I used to have manual cars before this, this is my first auto. So if this was like a manual car or something, then I definitely want it to be louder. But for what it is right now, it's fine. probably couldn't hear much it's just there's too many cars here um, that I can't pass and um, so I can't really go through all the gears or whatever but that should be pretty good and that's pretty much how it sounds let me just put my window back up that's pretty much how it sounds through all the gears I mean it just drops the RPM to about the same thing so um, it sounds great to me like I said, I recommend it. If you're thinking about doing it, do it. it literally cost me like, I don't know, uh, I can't remember now, but I think like $80 to get that muffler delete. So, you know, to me that was cheap. Uh, cheaper than like a $400 exhaust or more. So uh, it's good, it works out. So just let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully the audio turns out pretty decent but just like subscribe and then stay tuned for more i will have a couple more random videos coming up soon here so i'll see you guys later